Good morning. It is my honor this morning to be reading the scripture. I will be reading Genesis 22 verses 1 through 14 and reading from the New Living Translation. Sometime later, God tested Abraham's faith. Abraham, God called. Yes, he replied, here I am. Take your son, your only son, yes, Isaac, whom you love so much, and go to the land of Moriah. Go and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I will show you. The next morning, Abraham got up early. He saddled his donkey and took two of his servants with him, along with his son Isaac. Then he chopped wood for the fire for a burnt offering and set out for a place that God had told him about. On the third day of their journey, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. Stay here with the donkey, Abraham told the servants. The boy and I will travel a little farther. We will worship there and then we will come right back. So Abraham placed the wood for the burnt offering on Isaac's shoulders, while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them walked together, Isaac turned to Abraham and said, Father? Yes, my son, Abraham replied. We have the fire and the wood, the boy said. But where is the sheep for the burnt offering? God will provide the sheep for the burnt offering, my son, Abraham answered. And they both walked to, on together. When they arrived to the place where God had told him to go, Abraham built an altar and arranged the wood on it. And then he tied his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. And Abraham picked up the knife to kill his son as a sacrifice. And at that moment, an angel of the Lord called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Yes, Abraham replied, here I am. Do not lay a hand on the boy, the angel said. Do not hurt him in any way, for now I know that you truly fear God. You have not withheld, me, withheld from me even your son your only son. And then Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So Abraham took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering in the place of his son. Abraham named the place Yahweh Yireh, which means the Lord will provide. To this day, people still use that name as a proverb. On the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. The word of God for the people of God and all of God's people said, Amen.